Hello Internet, this is Daniel here. Uh, I'm actually going to do another Diablo video here. I'm actually on my wizard, which you guys saw leveling up. He's now level 70. He does not have a lot of really defining gear. He has a lot of, he is in decent setup already because my other characters already had it. Uh, he has a decent weapon. He has a lot of set bo small set bonuses that are just like intellect, vitality, damage against elites, life. Nothing amazing right now. Uh, you can see he's actually using a set for the Witch Doctor, but the first set bonus is just bonus int, so it works for him. Uh, but because he doesn't have a lot of defining features, I next thing I would go to is his details. Here you can see he has some crit, a little bit of bonus crit damage. Decent area, but it's really difficult to build off of that. Uh, so 20% of his attacks deal 32% of damage in an area. Um, he does have a almost 30% cooldown reaction though, and that's going to be important for our build. Uh, then a bonus of Magic Missile, Black Hole, and Familiar. Uh, that that cooldown reduction really kind of informed everything else. You see I don't have an elemental preference right now. So I went with just a Magic Missile that shoots three. Uh, it's kind of, it can be AoE or single target, and that's one of the reasons I like about it. I chose a fast arcane orb for my dump for my arcane power. See, it moves very, very fast. Does not do a very large area, unlike a lot of the other arcane orbs. Then, that's Robert's black hole. Here's mine. I'm currently using the lightning one. Uh, basically does a little lightning damage over time. Honestly, I could use any of them if I wanted to. Using the teleport wormhole, where if I use it quickly enough, I can use it twice. I'm using meteor here, and the rune I'm using on it gives it a 15 second cooldown, but does a lot of damage over time. Harvard's also using that rune. Then I'm using Archon. Um, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and switch my rune up to a Archon. I won't have the slow time, but instead I'll do more damage on the Archon. Something I didn't do was change my cooldown stuff. So, that was a large portion of my cooldown reduction is from Evocation. That's okay. Keep glass cannon because we want to do more damage. Again, we're going to do a greater rift. I'm not cold blooded anymore. In fact, most of my damage is going to be arcane with some fire and lightning mixed in. Uh, now, something I could do is damage enemies with arcane, cold, fire, or lightning, will cause them to take 5% more damage from all sources for 5 seconds. Each different damage type applies a stack, stacking up to 4 times. I think I might actually go that one. This is not one I get to use very often. I'm going to do Elemental Exposure, uh, and currently I'm using Lightning, and Fire, and Arcane. I'm not using a Frost. Your weapon damage counts too, though. Yeah, I don't have any weapon damage right now. Uh, let's see. Does count for weapon damage. Currently, my weapon does not do any elemental damage. Uh, which, unfortunately, that would make a lot easier. You can see the gem I have on here is Life on Hit. Just give me a little more survivability. It's also just the gem that was in there. I didn't bother changing it right now. So we're just going to go ahead and start us off with That's our impossible. Uplisk here. Oh, I don't think, I think I have to do a time trial. I don't think I have a, yeah, I don't have the one right now. I have to use timed. Okay. So we're going to do a timed first, see where we're at, and go from there. So, like I did last time with the Greater Rift, um, we'll have a moment to prepare here. And then we'll start getting attacked. See, I'm going to have a lot of cooldowns. I'm going to try to use them as often as I can. power left over for I'm injured. Uh, I'm you. I've actually not played this build before. Oh, well, this character recent, recently got to 70. I got a better gear and I hadn't really played that before. Done. Thank you. 
they just level up my Paragon. This is all my Robert. Alright, yeah, that makes me revive back in town. So it's up to Robert now. Um, sorry, you won't be able to see him fight here. While he does that, I'm going to go ahead and switch my gym, I think. So it's in weapon, so I can either do base damage, uh, thorns, crit, life on hit, or damage against elites. Got a 14, it's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my gem here and put a red gem in. I see my damage right now is 366. 392. Now if you see it mod going up and down a lot, it's because if I don't move, I do more damage. Alright, let's do our 14 then. Oh, we're gonna talk to them first. Greetings, Nephilim. I can create a Alright. Do this. Brave the rifts, and you will be well rewarded. I just did the QWE moves again. I am the smart. So my survivability is awful. Jeez. I must wait longer. Yep, me too. So this character uh, does not have the immune arcane, and I need to remember that. So that wasn't a great start, but our damage is really high. So we shouldn't we have too big of a problem here. Assuming it doesn't starve us for minions. So one of my another great thing about Diablo 3 that I really enjoy is the fact that there's still progress at max level. We're still getting Paragon and while the Paragon points may not add up to a whole lot comparatively. Still feels like progress. Like I'm still seeing my XP bar go up even though we're level 70. Which is something that I don't feel like I feel like another a lot of other games don't necessarily have. But Borderlands 2 XP is kind of big in their badass system. I believe is what it was called. So this guy has missile damage, which is one of the more interesting uh, definitely makes some of the coolest stuff happen in the game, like seeing the forms moving really slowly through it. Which is pretty neat. Uh, if you're wondering about the wings I'm using, the purpose to damage right now. My glowy wings are from the uh, pre-ordering the, the original Diablo, right? Or Diablo 3. You guys can do it. Uh, whereas I also have uh, like this little skeleton dog from doing the climb edition of uh, the expansion, which I did mainly for the wild pet. a little treasure goblin. That's awesome. One, like we mentioned earlier, the one way that this build could be a lot better is if my weapon had an element on it, because that would automatically give it free up some space here. Uh, particularly lightning, I don't feel like I'm get, giving them a lot of lightning damage. Is not. Grab double. That's the main reason I grab double teleport. Was for this one. See, this time we're doing pretty well in regards to the timer. Again, the greater risk the way they work is the timer. 
uh, in, reaches the end, then we can, can't continue our rift We have to upgrade our gems. Basically, at the end, which would be the final guardian, um, we have, that's our two options. We can either upgrade a gem or increase our rift stone to be, to be harder. Usually we try to upgrade our stone unless we are, unless we can't. So again, until our run ends. I'm sure other people would end up wanting to just do the gym right off the bat. But personally, I would rather just keep going on, keep getting a better chance of legendaries at higher tiers. Yeah, you also get better legendaries and you get more upgrades on the gym when you finally stop. Which is... More upgrades, just better chance of upgrade. Uh, oh, okay, it's a better chance of upgrade. I was uh, So, like, if you watched the other my monkey video, I always said I had 100% chance at low ranks. Well, if I'm at higher ranks, I would require more... farther along in the run. which does the damage in a line. He's mostly fire damage, I think, right now. He does... Um, using the same... Uh, the meteor that I am. He is using the fire of the magic missile, but he does have a thing that gives him three magic missiles, which is pretty weird. I might try to talk him into doing a video about it. damage in our combo is so high that it's way better to utilize it there. Frozen. Oh, I was frozen. Uh, should I wait for you to revive me? So, uh, greater rest, you can't revive it. You either have to revive a chip one or you have to makes it much more difficult because I'd have to run all the way back and this he's pretty far from that. So I think we made the right call waiting for that. Robert got an achievement for me reminding me. I never know how to feel about the Hydra. Great on roots. Also not entirely sure how I feel about my Decent take from my elements and my switch. I'm really switching between two. Because my other two are cooldowns that I can't use constantly. Yeah. It's not perfect, but. There's one point out there. At least they take more damage than I can That's true. And most of the time, you end up doing one element. So, uh, I'm in a rare case where I don't have the same element, so why not try the multi element skills? I'm sure there are passes that will be the same here. Stop! I need healing! 
luckily I can still use potions on him. Dead. In Archon mode as well, I was gonna say. Watch out for the vicious wranglers because they can still hit pretty hard. We finished it with 3 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. So we got a two-handed mace and a gem for it. Rubber cries aloud because he got nothing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our keystone here. Because again we can, that's what we prefer to do. So we got a 15. And let's go ahead and identify my two-handed mace I got here. It is Crush Bane. It is a dex-based item. Really is not that wonderful. Yeah. It's a good it is really good vitality for compared to my warmonger. But yeah, I know where that. And then my gemstone was the chance to smite. Which if you watch my monk video, he's using that one. By the way, the ones I'm using right now is poison enemies I hit for damage over ten seconds and increase damage against enemies under effects of patrol effects. Probably should have changed that. It worked better for my cold build, uh, or if I was a lightning build. But alas, I'm not, so I probably should have changed that. But that's okay. This is learning experience. It's part of Diablo. You get new stuff, you change up your build. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls on my, on my wizard this time with a all element build cooldown base. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.